Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuclear Throne Ultra. We're gonna jump in today as I think YC. I've not done much as YC to be honest. We did but we played him a little bit. We actually, we did actually unlock the double golden gun, which is kind of nice to have. Golden bouncer SMG and the pop gun. It's not the uh, do you know no, but I think I think I probably want to go golden wrench is like the sort of good way to start, right? Um, just to have a melee, like, off the bat. Uh, we'll go with our inversion crown. Ooh, what did I do there? Uh, apologies, I've just, um, minimized the game somehow. Okay, there you go. I don't know what the hell I did there, but hopefully that works. <laughs> but yeah, as, as you guys know, with this character, essentially, you split yourself up. I still wish the grouping on these guys was a little tighter, but you split yourself up and all of them get to fire as well. Basically, I think the way that we're going to play this is go for max HP, obviously, but I think we're actually going to play uh, shotgun shoulders and uh, pop guns slash shotguns because obviously the more shots they fire. Can these guys teleport to me or something? Stop getting stuck. <laughs> yeah, obviously this character has a bit of risk associated with uh, the low HP pool once you've split, but I think other than that, he's a pretty damn good character, but doesn't mean I can play him well. Okay, let's save. Let's conserve ammo to start with here. We don't need to be splitting on the early areas, really. So let's uh, let's save that for a little later. Let's try and get through the the, 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 the gaping maw that is this area. Cool. And we'll do two splits here. Not 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 too many. Just enough to to have some craziness going on. I also feel like eagle eyes would probably be pretty good in this scenario too, right? Like, having having the ability to uh, have all of our accuracy sort of merged into one there could be pretty good. Also, Morph. Pretty good right now. Didn't expect it to be as good as it is. It's very nice. One of my guys died. Okay, so one, when one of them dies, you do regain the maximum HP, I think, which is nice. I'm not entirely sure. God damn it. It's not what I wanted to do. Um, What should we go for here? Honestly, I think Boiling Veins makes a lot of sense, along with definitely Rhino Skin. Um, Boiling Veins makes a lot of sense because we're going to be under 4 HP a lot. So having that protection always activated um, is going to be really good because we're lowering our maximum HP all the time. I really like the morph weapons early on. They, they, they seem to do a very, very good job. Calm down with your explosions, boy. Um, inverted area? Yeah, I think we'll go inverted. Rather than through there. Cool. Okay. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah, this weapon's doing us pretty well here. I'd, I'd really like to get shotgun shoulders going. I think that'd be quite fun. Um, impact wrists is going to be pretty good for us here. Let's go with that. Okay, apparently it still went through there, so that's fine. Oh my god. Goodness, that's a lot of shots. These guys do also nicely block some shots for us, too. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> that was really bad timing for you to spawn there. Yeah, really, really bad timing. Okay, I had a feeling we were going to die there. Right, I can get this going. Obviously, you've got to remember the ammo consumption is insane when, when you've got, like, three guys going at once, which is one of the reasons I wanted to go melee as a secondary, just to have it, because no ammo consumption saves our bacon quite a lot here. Um, there's shotgun shoulders. Morph revolver again, but that's a cursed one this time. Although we'll be taking the cursed weapon anyway, so I think I'll take it. Okay, let's try and be a bit more cautious around this here. I do again. The positioning here is a uh, bit bit undesirable. Okay, we're good. Oh, we got the slash shotgun. Ooh. Slash shotgun plus a pop gun with this setup seems phenomenally fun. I don't know. This seems like it could be pretty good. What, what did we take here? Was this... Okay, that is just shotgun shoulders. I'm stupid. Um, I don't really know what I want to go for. I think gamma guts would be quite good here in this scenario. And then I did say about eagle eyes being good too. Go with three of these guys. Alien intestine would be... Uh, alien, not alien intestine. Oh, no. 
I forgot about my lowered HP there. I had a dream set up at that point. That was rather silly of me. That was rather silly of me. I had a dream set up there and I just kind of let it go to waste because I completely forgot, completely forgot that I kind of need um, maximum HP to survive explosions. And I was also... The, the runs had melded in my mind, and I was like, it's okay, I have boiling veins, even though I literally just checked my mutations. Yeah, not ideal. But you kind of see what I'm going for with this here. Bomb lobber, I'll go with that. I don't know how good the bomb lobber's going to be against uh, the good old... The good old bird himself, but it should be pretty good. It's surprisingly not good. <laughs> it's really, really hard to actually land the bombs where you want them to go. Okay, through, through here. Um, extra feet's always pretty good. Although Recycle Gland, I think, is going to be really, really nice here. Yeah, Recycle Gland Shotgun Shoulders seems like a dream combo. Right, just don't get close to the explosive fellas this time, the explosive ammo. If I can grab it, I can grab it, but if not, stay the hell away. That ammo gonna go boom, and it's not gonna be good. Ah, oh, dude, the teleporting is not nice right now. Holy hell, that was a lot of teleporting as well. Beautiful. Ah, oh, that's very, very nice. We did get an inverted area here too. I wish these guys would stay aligned with me. Also, that. <laughs> that looks nice. I like that idea. Having the, uh, the scythe there could be really, really good. So, what do I actually want to go for in terms of what I want to choose here? Because uh, this is kind of tricky. I guess Eagle Eyes would be really good, but I, I, I'm thinking, more importantly, Rhino Skin. I think Rhino Skin for the extra HP, just to make sure I can do three and still have a bit more HP left over, is going to be really, really good. Now, this area is going to be a little bit crazy, especially with the boss doing his thing. I'm going to hurt back in air. Mostly stay out of his way until I need to kill him. Yeah, that's exactly how that worked. Good, good. Cool. Uh, we got the chop gun. Ooh, that's really good, but it doesn't really work with the setup we got going right now, which I'd very much like it to, so I won't take that for now. And then we get another choice of a mutation here, so I'm not entirely sure what to take this time around. We've got to wait until the end of the next stage anyways, yeah. I want impact risks next, I think. Put flame on this bad boy. Good. good. Yeah, I'm thinking impact impact risks would be really good right now. Just to have corpses flying all over the place with all this bouncy shots and stuff. I think that could yield some pretty insane chain reactions. Where the hell is impact wrists? I swear, like, as soon as I get to this point, I completely forget what every icon looks like. There it is. Cool. Good, good. Inverted big dog has been activated literally straight away. Dude! Oh, that was a... F <sighs> oh, man. I feel like Nuclear Throne is really similar to The Binding of Isaac in the way that, like, it's got so many things that I love and so many things that I absolutely hate. <laughs> and, yeah, snipers being able to shoot at you uh, from, from off-screen is one thing. From off-screen is pretty annoying. It, it, it's, but it's not the worst because it's a laser. From behind a boss that you can't shoot through, that's just not fair. <laughs> there's nothing I can do about that, apart from get out of the way, but there's so much to deal with. I can't get out the way. Give my shotgun shoulders back. Don't be a, don't be a dick about this. Give me my shotgun shoulders back. There it is. Beautiful. And I'd like Recycle Gland as well here, but 
Don't think we're going to get that straight away. Let's go with Absorbing Paws for now. I don't take that very often. I'm going to go with two fellas for now. I'd rather have the four HP. Uh, that ammo almost exploded. It was, it was making its way away from me. Holy sh... What the hell? That's so much HP. I wish I could overheal right now. Dude, do, do you know, there should be a mutation that just allows you to overheal off of picking up HP drops. I think that's already a crown, though, so maybe that's why it isn't. But it'd be nice. I grab that. And then, did we have an inverted area here? No, we don't have an inverted crown. Oh, there it is. The inverted crown's just chilling. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't get two uh, pick systems, but I think I'm going to go with Cycle Gland here, because that happened, that, that happened to be really useful last time, so... I reckon that's a good thing to take. I could also go with Lucky Shot, but I, I don't know. I think Recycle Gland is likely to be more useful in the long run, wherever it is. Where is it? Yeah, again, I have a hard time here. There you go. It also makes bullets do a bit of AoE damage, right? I do love a shotgun shoulders run with a pop gun. It is very satisfying. Very, very satisfying. Right, stay out the way of the snipers this time, shall we? Stay out the way of the goddamn snipers. Dude, these mini dudes need to get in that. Walk on through, dude. Walk on through. You're no use to me at the other side of that wall. Ooh, micro. Micro shotgun. I do like the idea of that as a secondary. I will take that as a sec potential secondary. Alright, sniper, please stop. Okay, through we go. No rhino skin, unfortunately. Um, Honestly, rage might not be too bad here. I don't take rage that often, but with this scenario, I think it could be good. Oh, um, where'd my pop gun go? I thought it got sucked up by the teleporter. Or did, I just, did it did it get sucked up and I ne just never picked it up? Well, at least for now, our, uh, our hopes are slightly dashed. Unfortunately, shot... Did an off-screen sniper seriously just kill me again? Man. <sighs> right, shotgun shields. We got it back. We need to, we need to do this before it dies. Dude, 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 what is this? How am I meant to survive that? I say how, and immediately survive it. But still, my point stands. We've got an inverted area this time, that's nice. Oh, dude, stop it. Okay, through we go. Right. Um, in back wrists again. Right, I guess I said, where's the boss? I'm a bit worried about him. We got him. We got him. Right. There's a morph minigun there. I'm going to take that as my secondary. Even though it uses the same ammo type, that just seems fun to me. Right. We get to choose another one. We're, like, we're actually getting really lucky with our starts at the minute. They're all very similar, which is really good. Right, we actually got the pop gun back this time. Okay, good. We managed to clear that stage. Didn't really see much of the stage, to be honest, but <laughs> there you go. Okay, this is where it gets tricky. So, Eagle Eyes is a really good option. 
Rhino skin is obviously a really good option. Um, I think, honestly, I don't know. Nah. I think it's going to have to be Rhino skin. I think it just makes too much sense to not take it. Right, sniper, do not get me again. I'll be very, very sad if another sniper gets me here. I saw, I saw the lasers. Okay, it seems that the sniper has gone. Mini missile, careful. Oh, we're all out of ammo. Okay, thank God he died. <laughs> Toxic assault rifle. Potentially good. We need a better secondary here. Uh, pop guns or auto, so that doesn't matter. Um, hypersomnia could actually be really good for us. I think I'm going to take that. Just stops enemies from doing that on death effects immediately, which I really, really like. Which is actually super, super helpful for our situation when we can kill a lot of enemies without seeing them. Triple assault rifle. I need a something that's not assault rifle based. Okay. This has been beautiful thus far. Although we've completely wasted insomnia here. Oh, I've got an electric weapon there. Let's see what that is. Electric lightning crossbow. Yeah, I'll take that. Um, frost. I guess I'll put frost on that then, I guess. Why not? Do I go and do the crown vault here? It's very tempting, but I think I'm going to say no for now. E, that thing being asleep is really nice. Being able to kill all of us before the boss spawns is also really, really nice. Wait, what? Okay, I thought he died then, but he didn't. That was scary. Okay, uh, thrown, but gain even more ammo depending on the number of duplicates. Extra ammo gained per duplicate is doubled. Try that out. Well, that was a nice, easy area for us there, for the most part. Apparently, there's a lot more to this area. Oh no, not to be fair, not, not too much, not too much. Good, I like having this extra ammo though. Extra ammo is very, very nice. Because we are burning through it. Ooh, bad, bad spawn on that guy there. I mean, luckily we absolutely destroyed him. I saw you holding a car there. Oh my god, I forgot these guys could shoot through walls. That was, that was very risky for us there. Oh my god, explosive slugger. Whoa, what is my boy doing here? I'll take it, why not? Right, where are we going? Put reload speed on it, why not? And... This is actually really, really good. Being able to block the first hit each stage when we're on this lower HP is actually kind of insane for us right now. I need a better pop gun. A better pop gun would go a long way for us right now. This thing having bouncy, the explosive weapon having bouncy, not the most ideal. Um, don't think I want either of those. Director Burst Grenade Launcher. No, thank you. I'm going to take the Seeker Pistol. Stop bouncing. There you go. Where's all the enemies at? Okay, there's, there's no enemies. It's just, it's just the man himself. Which I don't really remember what the inverted version of this guy does, so I'm a little worried. Well, I already ran out of ammo, so not a good start. This is actually going really poorly right now. I ended up going okay, actually. The ammo situation really worried me there. Um, 
Extra feet, really good. Everything that deals more than two damage to you deals one less. That seems useful right now. I just love situations like this where it shows how far a golden starting weapon can carry you. Oh, I'm missing extra feet right now. I'm not going to go through this area in this, this run. I'm just going to try and make this a good run. Take, let us go the distance. You all good here? Not quite, not quite. Back muscle will be quite good right now as well, actually. But we're, we're level 9 already, so we're not going to get that anytime soon. Just give me a better pop weapon. I think a bouncer laser is going to be quite nice here. Right, what's, what's left? Ooh. Alkaline saliva saving us there. As I said, it'd be really good for us, and it, it very much is. Um, okay, cool. That wasn't too bad. I thought there was more left down there than there was. Blood Wall. He uses the same ammo, so it's not really ideal, but... Oh, I've heard it's so good. I'm going to take it for now, rather than my pop gun. Even though I know a pop gun is our build right now, but I'm going to find another pop gun later. But Blood Wall, with this many friends, seems potentially amazing. Like, how could anything get through that? Flame Eraser is actually pretty good for us here with the Bouncer, to be honest, as well. Mini Flame Cannon. I've had some good runs with the Blood Wall as well. Okay, we good? We good? I think we're good. Okay. Shots fired by dupes don't cost ammo or rads. That's pretty amazing. Create max four dupes. Dupes don't decrease your maximum HP. That's really, really good. Uh, dupes cost two HP instead of max HP. Portals heal. Uh, first two hits you take in a level will be negated. Ooh, all of these are really, really good. Um, I'm going to go with that one. Oh, I kind of forgot we'd enter this area. Okay, so we, we got some choices. We hopefully have a pop gun in here somewhere. Um, Doom pistol, love bubbler, shank gun, sextuple blood rifle, flail, super slugger. Super slugger's good for now, I guess. Um, micro minigun. Come on, where's a where's a thingy weapon here? Damn. We've not really got a ton here that's going to be good for us, have we? Blood launcher shotgun. Seems pretty good. I think we're actually good, you know. I think this is this is what we're taking, which is kind of a shame, but hey her. Let's go. Um, yeah, I guess we go with that. Where we go? And then do three of those. Grenade rifle. Okay, we got to destroy the things you remember. Blood wall, I don't know how good it's going to be here damage-wise, but we'll see. Right, taking care of you. I'm going to use these for this bit. Oh my god. Okay, that does a lot more than I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's really good. That's really good. I like that a lot. There we go. And then this guy should get absolutely deleted here. He's asleep for starters. Yeah, there you go. 
deleted. There we go. And I will do as I normally do and remove the vans. I could go with... I've only got 23. Remove vans. And we'll keep the rest. Away with you. Okay, the ammo consumption here is uh, a little insane for both of our weapons. So I'm a bit concerned about that. In fact, I'm very concerned about that. It's a regular old eraser. That's not going to do it for us. The thing is, I can create more minions when I heal here, so... I think I'm going to end up overdoing it and getting myself killed though, aren't I? Scythe Disperser Gun, that sounds awesome. Oh my god, yes, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Yet again, not the best ammo consumption wise. Still very, very worried about my HP here, but... Slug Cannon. I will take a slug cannon. Let's do that. Let's grab some of these bonuses. Why not? There's only two of them we can grab so far. Right, courtyard, let's go. My god, the fact that I can have so many minions here. Obviously, the downside is the ammo consumption is ridiculous. Oh god, I've gone down to 1 HP here. That was not a good call. Oh my god. That with shotgun shoulders is so much fun. But I like the disperser guns. It just like fully clears an entire area. Crown glutton. <laughs> he didn't even get a chance to live. Oh my god. We really need, um, what's it called with this, where we can grab the pickups from further away. That's causing us issues. No! I walked too close to the sun. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed that one, and I will see you guys in the next one.